Hi everyone, Suzanne here. Welcome back to my Tomb Raider 3 playthrough. Today we are playing the level Aldwitch. So just a really quick recap on the story so far. Lara is now working with Dr. Willard to find the rest of the meteorite artifacts. We've already been to Nevada and South Pacific and gotten the artifacts from there. And in the last level, we were dropped off in London to find the last artifact we need, the Eye of Isis. And this is the artifact that Stephen Barr had, the diary writer from Darwin's crew. He sold off his artifact when he was in London because he saw how all of his other friends who had artifacts met grisly ends. So he sold off his artifact and was like, I want nothing to do with this anymore. So we know the Eye of Isis is somewhere in London. In the last level, we made our way to the roof of St. Paul's Cathedral and met a slink mercenary named John, who said that he works for a woman called Miss Sophia Lee. That's all we really know so far. And then Lara slid down a chute into Aldwych Tube Station. Just a quick note on Aldwych before we start for anyone who doesn't know. So Aldwych is an abandoned tube station in the London underground. It was opened in 1907 and closed permanently in 1994 due to the station having low passenger numbers. And just an interesting fact about Aldwych, it is often used for filming. So any film or TV series that needs a tube station in it, they use that and some of the other abandoned underground stations in London to film scenes. So let's just get straight into it and see what is down in this abandoned tube station. Okay. Ooh. Grab that so we don't miss this pickup. Cool. Just another way they try to make London more difficult than it needs to be. Okay, so I know that I was pretty moany in the last level, so I'm really, really going to try and just enjoy this level and kind of just go with it because I feel like if you fight the London levels, it's just it's going to be painful. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and just go with it and accept whatever horrendous things happen. And yeah, just try and try and move on from it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay. So I know we need to pull this. And the good thing is, I actually think I remember this much better than I remember the other level. So, yeah. Famous last words. Every time I say I remember something really well, it just always goes really, really wrong. So I should probably stop saying that really okay I can hear someone walking around oh hello why is he just standing there that's so weird Okay, and just a really quick note on these guys. So um, I don't think their arms are green. I think that's like their jacket, but their hands are green and they've got like masks on their face, but their faces look weird. So just to make a note of that for anybody who doesn't know. And yeah, it says da the damned, damned on their jackets. I will talk about those jackets later um, because I think that's kind of weird. But anyway, <laughs> so these guys, we will learn um, more about them and who they are later at the end of the level with the cutscene. I just don't want to go into it now and kind of spoil it and also waste time. So yeah, we will be learning who these guys are and what their deal is later on. <gasps> Oh, 
That was so rude. Was literally in the middle of talking. How dare you? What am I doing now? Um, oh yeah, I'm... I'm jumping... <gasps> jumping up. Hang on. Oh, there. Okay, what was that noise? Sorry, I can always hear so many random noises in my earphones. And I'm always just like, what is happening? It's so unnerving. So unnerving. Okay, so we got a key. And we already killed that chap, so don't need to worry about him. Um. Okay, we need to go down the escalator with the pit. Why am I running faster? There. <gasps> oh my god. Why am I so stupid? I literally started sprinting just as I got to the hole. I don't know how I didn't fall into that. <laughs> oh, I'm having a good time with this one though. I really am. Okay, there we go. Oh, get away from me with your fire. What is that? That is a scary dog. And look, the dog looks kind of like a zombie-ish as well. Look, it's rib cage and the blood and stuff. Like, that dog's not okay. He's not okay. Okay, so this key opens this, and ugh! <laughs> it's with these stupid doors, they keep getting stuck on me. Okay. And this... Turns the electricity on, so that's nice. And oh yes, so that turned the electricity on, so then this machine spat out a coin, which we will need. I remember playing this level with my family um, back in the day when it first came out and we could not figure out this level. We could not figure out this level at all. We got so frustrated. We were like, what is with this coin? What is with all this random stuff that you get like the mallet thing and everything so confusing <laughs> okay so we can see yeah it's done up exactly like a tube station and there's the old witch signs which is pretty cool um is there anything down these tracks see i'm confused and i can't remember is this the one where we run down or not. I'm scared. Oh my God, I thought I saw a person. I'm so scared. Is this? I don't think this is right. <gasps> oh my God, that's horrific. So that's not the right one. <laughs> oh my God. Even though I knew there was a high likelihood of a train, that still scared the crap out of me. Right, so I think we've established that um, there is nothing good on these tracks, so we don't need to worry about them. Okay, let's go on these tracks. Let's go here next. And I I see the opening, but I'd say there's a... <gasps> Hey!
Hey. Excuse me. Why are you just standing there? How can a dog just materialize out of thin air? Not having that. Okay, I think if I go over to this one, I can get. Ooh! I can get Uzis. Isn't there? Is, oh. Yay! Uzis, finally. Okay, so I'm just trying to concentrate so hard because I don't want the same thing to happen to me that happened in the last level where I forgot something and then I had such a hard time backtracking. Oh, I had such a hard time backtracking. <laughs> to get it again so i'm really just trying to not miss stuff what oh i'm just <gasps> oh for god's sake i mean yay i'm having so much fun positive attitude <gasps> what what get away get hell is your problem well clearly he has a serious problem he's green um right so i think i just go here now this bit this bit annoys me there's just so much backtracking over and over again so let's just do this as quickly as possible no not yet i'm getting my rocket Excuse you. I am getting my rocket. Okay, let's go. So we can see a big massive drill thing there. About to come down for some reason. There's a massive drill. Um, so yeah, where am I going? Ah! <gasps> Well, that was crap. Okay, we can we can do better than that. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Concentrate. Right. How are you supposed to do that? How? Right. Oh. I give up. Would a side flip to the left help? Let me try. Yay! Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Lara. Come on. Come on. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. <sighs> okay, 
Would flipping around help? Yeah. Okay. Yes! I think we're safe here. I think it stops. I can't see, but it stops up. Up. There. Okay, that was a lot harder than it needed to be. But that's okay. That's okay. This is this is positive positive game. <laughs> so much fun. Can I Oh, this is just a a nowhere place. Do I go here? I see a medipack, so I'm going here anyway. Um how do I get back up? What's down here? Hmm. Where do I go? It has to be here. Oh, there. Oh, okay. So confused. Oh, up here. Okay. What's that? Oh, that's just to put yourself out on the. If you catch fire, I think. I don't think we have to go in there. Wonderful. Just what we need. More fire. Uh oh. I I literally don't know how I'm not catching fire right now. Oh crap no. Are they off now? I literally have no idea what happened there, but I got through it and I'm happy. <laughs> okay. What's next? What fresh hell is next? Okay. Um. Isn't there? Yeah. Like, isn't there a button here? I'm pretty sure. Okay, so that opens that, which we need for some reason. Okay, go, Lara, go. Duck. I don't know, I feel like there's a bug in this level though, because the fire doesn't seem to be hurting me when I feel like it should. I don't know. This- No! This level's full of bugs. Another giant rat. And that's everything. So here we are back to up here again. <laughs> Very descriptive, Suzanne. Very descriptive. Okay, so back down here again. I think the train only comes once, but I don't want to risk it. I don't trust it. Okay, so we just climb all the way back up here again. Uh, I think if we go like this and then this, yay! Uh, 
Okay. All the way back in here again. And now the, yes, the drill has moved down and stopped there, which will allow us to reach the key. Myself and my family also, whoops, also couldn't figure this out um, when we first played it. We didn't know that you had to come back in here to get the key. I'm sure this got a lot of people. It is extremely sneaky. Okay, and oh crap. Okay, this leads us back out here. And now we just have to go a third time i'm not joking a third time to get to that trap door that we opened and lara's gonna have a concussion by the time she gets there okay and i do just want to show that there is a button back here but basically all it does is sound an alarm so completely unnecessary and um kind of annoying so you don't have to press that i don't know why i just pressed it i just felt like it because clearly i'm a masochist so yeah we'll just listen to this now fun Yep, she's definitely going to have a concussion. No doubt about it. Oh, I can't get up there. That's fine. I could have sworn that there's, like, pick up here. Uh-oh. coming to me so oh a big dog scary okay um so we can't open that door yet that's the final secret of the level very very sneaky secret and there's nothing here so, just go down here. <coughs> and just pulling that out from under opens this trap door. Try this way first. <laughs> I don't know. This, oh yes, this is where I wanted to go. Okay, so this is like a timed door puzzle, the most frustrating, annoying thing in the world. I'm probably gonna get really annoyed doing this. Let's just do it. Okay, so I think we pull this first because it uh, opens the two far doors but we need to get into the farthest one. Oh, just about i'm happy with that very happy with that right 
first try. Now, let's go back to... Ooh, I see you, Flares. I see you. Let's go back to the buttons. Okay, then I think we press this one again. Ooh. I think we press this one again. Oh. Okay. Come on, Lara, now. Come on. Uh, no. No. Yes. Okay. Now. What's in here? What's that? A safe? A fridge? I think it's a safe. It's empty. That's crap. Okay, that just slides back the other way we just were. Um. So, uh, what is down there? Oh, okay, so that's the grate we had to close, I think. So then we just jump, yeah, over here. Mm, I'm so confused. Um, yeah, so I think we just press this button now. <laughs> that nice okay so this grate should be closed now so we can monkey swing across I can't believe I got all of those first try I really feel like especially from doing this channel and all these playthroughs I really feel like my Tomb Raider my Tomb Raiding skills have really really improved I'm quite happy with that and here's our second key, so that's great. Love that for us, okay. And then I think we just swim. There's, ooh, that's dark. There's no alligators. Another safe, what the hell? There's no alligators, there's no alligators. Where's the freaking... Oh, here it is. Okay. This is so dark for me. I can't see. Oh, why is that closed? Oh, now it's open. Don't trust it. Don't trust it. <gasps> yeah, don't trust it. <laughs> Tomb Raider 3 is never gonna just be nice and open a door for you. There's always a catch. Okay, so I'm gonna get my ticket now. Which one of these? Not that one. Ooh, here. Okay. Give me my ticket, please. Got it. Okay. So... Uh, where are we going now? There's another place with, like, turn... Not turnstiles, um, escalators. Is it this one? Or is this the one I've already been down? Oh, I think this one's it. Yeah. <sighs> I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Oi. Yeah, exactly. Nobody boys at Lady Croft and lives. Okay, I think that's the only thing down here. That's a that's a huge complaint I have with Tomb Raider Three as well. The secrets are quite crap. Like, let's be honest, the secrets are quite crap. What they give you. 
Not impressed. Okay, the ooh. Rats. Okay. Um oh, this one's kind of purpley. So I think this is the one that we go down. <laughs> Not the one earlier. Uh but I can't remember what's up here. Let's just let's just take a quick look. Just a quick look. Unless it goes too far or something. Then I <gasps> you rude, rude zombie dog. That was shocking. Okay. Oh, yes. This is where I use my ticket, but I don't think I go here yet because I need the, I keep saying mallet. Is it a mallet? I think it's a mallet. I need the mallet thing, so I'm not gonna go there yet. <laughs> I'm gonna try really hard not to get smushed by this train. Okay. Come on, Suzanne, you can do it. Oi. Yeah, oi you. There we go. No train can get Lara Croft when she's prepared. <laughs> um, great, I'll take that. And I don't think another train comes again. I'm sure it probably does if you keep going further down the track, but anyway. Okay, so I remember this bit and this bit is a pain in the rear end. Okay, so the last time I played this, which was about a year ago, I memorized the way to do this puzzle. So I'm just going to see if I remember how to do it. I think I remember all the buttons to press. So I think if we do this one first, I know it's something to do with the symbols or something, isn't it? But I honestly, I don't know how to do that. I don't understand how the symbols work. But I've got my little medipack, so I'm happy. And then I'm pretty sure it's this button. And this again. Is it? This looks right. There should be one more pickup. Oh, in here. Yay! Okay. That's good. Although I feel like that was kind of cheating because I had that route memorized. So, not so impressive. But yes, so this is the... I believe it sounds like a giant mouse. Like a really big mouse. But it's just this, this moony thing. But yeah, this is a, I believe it's called a Masonic Temple. And I was kind of thinking to myself, first of all, what the hell is a Masonic Temple? And second of all, why is this randomly in an abandoned tube station? So I decided to do some research, of course. So a Masonic Temple will be used by the Freemasons organization. I have heard of them before, but I honestly don't know a lot about them. So this is actually information that I took directly from a Freemasons website. So if I do get anything wrong, I apologize. I just, I don't know much about it. So the Freemasons are an organization focused on building themselves as people of integrity 
While membership provides them with the structure to help achieve that goal, they see all humankind as equal and help others in their community. So that's really nice. The only thing is though, the Freemasons are men only, which I don't know, that's like a little bit rude, but okay. They believe in a supreme being without being overly religious. The Masonic Temple here is a place where they would meet. I think I read that Freemasons generally meet maybe once a month or so, so this would be where they would meet and also where they would have member initiation ceremonies to join the Freemasons and different things like that. So I presume they just built it down here because the station was abandoned and it was out of the way and no one would disturb them. That's just my guess. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought that was interesting because I literally never knew what this was when I was a kid. I was like, what is this? Like actually, what is this? Hadn't got a clue. And the background sounds are so creepy in here. Uh, breakaway floor. So this is another sneaky Tomb Raider thing. How, how are you supposed to know that you can jump through this curtain exactly? How are you supposed to know that? I presume all these portraits are all like either members of the Freemasons or maybe like, you know, the special members who like actually did something good. And they're like, ooh, these are the successful ones. You could be just like these. It's like in my university I went to, they have like a kind of wall of fame. So they put your picture up there if you went to the university and then became successful. My picture's not up there. It's a bit, it's a bit sad, really. Uh, oh no, more spikes. Um, okay, so this should be our Masonic mallet. I swear it's called a mallet. Okay. Has to be. Masonic mallet, I knew it. I knew it. Ooh, <gasps> what was that? What was- uh. So gross. Oh god, poor dog. But like, ew. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, over here. Time for some swimming. There's no- there's no alligators, there's no alligators, there's no alligators. Even though this water looks absolutely filthy. Filthy. I would not want to be swimming in this. Okay, so that opened that. And then... We're... Oh. Oh yeah, so this is where we got attacked by the dog. The stairs thing. <coughs> the crawling is a cool addition to Lara's moves, but it's just so painfully slow sometimes. Painfully. I presume if I jump from up here? Yeah. Okay. Oh! You go away! Get out of here! You- Get out of here! Why is she- Why is she stuck on the rats? Stop it! Stop it now! Stupid, stupid rats. 
I'm not having this. I'm starting to get annoyed now. Right, let's use our ticket. Right, ugh! It's funny how at the time they were probably like, ooh, let's have them wear masks, you know, to show that something's wrong or whatever. Now it just looks like this was made in the time of of COVID. It's just like, yeah, okay, whatever. It's normal. <laughs> okay, so we use our ornate star to get a stupid secret. Stupid. Oh. I am so sure that that is supposed to set me on fire, but it just doesn't. Anyway, I'm not complaining. Oh. Well, I am complaining, but I'm not complaining too much. <sighs> this is just a lot of work for a stupid crystal. Everything has so much backtracking. Oh! Where am I? Okay, so I'm back here. Um, I guess I just climb back up to the ticket thing again. Oh my god, I managed to like cheat my way up there. Nice. That was great. Okay. We're getting we're getting closer to the end. We're not there yet, but we're closer. What is that? Excuse me. And, oh, what the hell? For some reason, we need a Masonic mallet to open this door. I presume Lara, like, breaks the lock or the chain or something, but it's just a bit... It's just a bit weird, really, isn't it? Okay, so that's the train open. Give me that. Uh, no. Where'd you go? Uh. Ha ha, I got him. Nice. I got him, I got him. teach me for being cocky, won't it? <sighs> okay. Look at him just chilling by the fire there. <sighs> right. Uh, there's no train gonna come on these tracks. So we don't <gasps> I am not able for this. I am actually not able for this. Is this a secret? 
That should have been a secret. Yeah, I'm just annoyed now. I'm just annoyed. What's in here? Nothing. Okay, so this is the train car that we're going to ride in. 219, I think it says. So let's go back and get inside the train. Did this guy drop anything? Oh, he did. I'm glad I checked. Right. Uh, what was that? So this is pretty cool. Little train car. It looks kind of like the Orient Express or something like that. Nice. Now this, stupidly, they're trying to say that the train moves and then that opens and we're somewhere else. But like, as soon as we press the button, the trap door opened, so how would we have had time to move somewhere else? It doesn't make sense. I think I need to just... Stop looking for logic. There is none. There just is none. Now this guy, you have to let him go. So he's like, uh, and then he runs off. You have to let him run because he's going to let his friend out. There, and if he doesn't open that door, we can't get the last secret, so. Where's your friend? Oh. Right. That is a candlestick. I don't need to go there. Um, okay, I want this. Um, so we can just go to the end of the level now. Like, job is done, whatever. But unfortunately, we need to get a pain in the behind secret. As always. Not happy. Ugh. Okay, what? What just opened now? I'm so confused. Okay, so that opens the train to get back to the secret. And then I think this opens the secret door. Great. I really shouldn't have pressed that alarm button earlier. The alarm is still going off. Why, why do I do these things? I don't know. I just, I think they'll be fun at the time, and then I'm just full of regrets. I'm stuck. Okay, th this bit just makes no sense. I don't get this. What is with that train? I don't know. Um, where am I going? Uh, why is that closed? Oh, I get ya. Okay, that was to get back into the train. <laughs> this is to get up. Just why? Just why? Okay, and this is really cool because, um, yeah, this is like a, an over the tracks kind of bridge thing, which is awesome. I like it.
Okay. Oh yeah, so we just go down here again to the trap door. Do not train. Do not. Not in the mood. Seriously, why did I press that button? And now we're all the way back to the secret door that we pointed out earlier. And yes, of course we have a massive backtrack coming up as well. Well that scared the crap out of me. Thanks for that. Thanks. It's a pretty good secret though. There's a lot of stuff, I guess. Oh. It's annoying. Okay, so that opens the train car thing. I just ran into the wall. So we can get back. Um, there's multiple ways that you can backtrack here. Um, I think I am just... <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. I just thought I would have a look over here and see what was going on. He frightened the life out of me. What is in here? I don't know what's in this door. I don't know if I was supposed to open that or not. I'm confused. But anyway, um, yeah, if we go down and backtrack this way. So yeah, there's multiple ways to backtrack, but I'm pretty sure this is like w one of the quickest. So we're just gonna go by the drill. Uh, don't even care anymore. Just want to get back. Then, oh yeah, it was up. Was it up here? The little bridge thing. It was okay. And now there is literally nothing left to do but to just, uh, well, finish crawling first and then just to slide down to the end of the level. Okay, so let's just sit back now and watch the cutscene. So, you must be after Miss Lee then. Business, not pleasure. Though obviously not for revenge, man. You've hardly got the face for that. And you have? <laughs> How moronic a question is that, eh? I don't even have a face, man. I came down here looking for work. And what do I get, eh? But Miss Lee's cosmetic company and her lab assistant job. No experience necessary. Good wage. Accommodation with it. Aye. Locked in a flotation tank for days on end in some fetid syrup. And when we come out, cause lots of us applied like, no face or flesh, man. And a boot and doing the waste disposal shoot here. Presumed deed. Some kind of failed experiment then. Oh, ta, very much. But I, and for added insult, when I tried to take my own life, I found it just didn't work. You mean Sophia's testing some sort of immortality power? Along with her own brand of facelift. Why aye, man. Everlasting beauty. She's obviously not fully worked it out yet, but she takes the best results for herself. See, I don't care what your business with her is. You can't be any more shiftless than what she is. So I'm going to go out of my way to help you. That is, after you've done something for us here, like. Very generous of you. What do you want? A bottle of that mummy preservation stuff from the Natural History Museum. 
Embalming fluid? Aye, for rotten flesh, you canny whack it, man. The museum's pretty interesting, I'm told. You'll like it. So why don't you go yourself? One of them Egyptian lassies there is a bit pissed off, like, that uh, she didn't get immortality the way she wanted it. And seeing as we've done better than her in that department, I didn't care to imagine what curse we could get given any worse than what we've got already, like. You'll be fine, though, pet. You die easily. Thanks. Okay, so we got five out of five secrets, which is great. And now we'll do the cutscene explanation. Lara falls into the lair of the damned and finds herself in front of their leader. Everyone has dubbed the leader Geordie Bob because that's what the soundtrack music is called playing during this scene. For anyone who doesn't know, Geordie is like a nickname for... Uh, group of people from a particular part of England in the UK. I know it takes in a lot of areas, but the one that kind of comes to my mind is like Newcastle kind of area. So it's just a name for those people and they have a very particular way of speaking. Now to me, it sounds like his accent is very exaggerated in this cutscene. Like there's some points where he almost sounds Jamaican or something, but uh, yeah, he's meant to be a Geordie with a Geordie accent. And then his name is, of course, Bob. I did look him up on Tomb Raider Wiki and it does actually list his full name as Robert Smith. But I like Geordie Bob better, so we're gonna call him Geordie Bob. Geordie Bob guesses that Lara is searching for Miss Lee. Business, not pleasure, Lara replies. Jordy Bob says that Lara is hardly looking for Sophia as revenge as she doesn't have the face for it. Lara is confused and doesn't catch on to his meaning because we've never seen these guys without their masks on. Jordy Bob gets angry and states that he doesn't even have a face. He says he came to London looking for work and found a lab assistant job with Sophia Lee's cosmetics company. He says it was advertised as no experience necessary, good wage and accommodation with it. I think all of us millennials can agree that that just sounds honestly too good to be true. Geordie Bob says that he and many others spent days on end locked in a flotation tank in some kind of syrup. And when they all came out, they had no face or flesh left. They were all then thrown down the disposal chute, presumed dead by Sophia. But obviously they have managed to survive in the sewers and Aldwych station, and that's why they called themselves the Damned. And that's where I wanted to mention their jackets again. Obviously earlier we saw that on the back of all their jackets it says Damned, but if they're living underground in the sewers in Aldwych station and like don't go out into society and everything because they have no face and flesh, where did they get those jackets made? I don't think in 1998 they would have had like internet, they could have like ordered them online. I'm just so curious, like where did they get the jackets? Where? Lara then quite rudely says that they're all some kind of failed experiment. I do just want to put a trigger warning here. What I'm about to say deals with mental health and kind of mental health issues. So if you don't want to listen to that, skip ahead to this timestamp below me if you don't want to hear anything dark mental health related. So Geordie Bob then explains that he tried to... <laughs> YouTube really doesn't like this word, so I'm going to say instead that um, Jordy Bob tried to unalive himself. And when he tried, he found that he couldn't. Because of this information, Lara then asks Jordy Bob if Sophia is testing some sort of immortality power along with her own brand of facelift. Jordy Bob confirms that Sophia is after everlasting beauty aren't we all? But that Sophia hasn't exactly worked it all out yet, but she does always keep the best results for herself. So I guess now we've solved the mystery of how back when we met John in the last level, his father and grandfather all worked for Sophia and how she still looks like she's in her 20s or 30s. She's testing some kind of immortality solution, presumably using the artifact, because we do know that the artifacts can prolong people's lives and give them kind of superpowers in a way. So I think it's safe to assume she's obviously using that 
to not only keep herself living forever and looking young and beautiful, but that maybe she's also using these formulas in her cosmetics maybe to advance her company. Because let's face it, if you could buy a cosmetic that could make you look 20 years old when you're 40 or something, that would make you pretty rich pretty quickly. Jordi Bob says that Lara can't be any worse than Sophia and offers to help her, but only if she brings him a bottle of embalming fluid from the National History Museum. Obviously, he has no flesh, or like his what's left is kind of rotting and stuff, so some embalming fluid would help that situation. Lara asks him why he doesn't just go himself. And yeah, I would be the exact same. I'd be like, why can't you just do it yourself? Jordi Bob says that one of the Egyptian women in the Natural History Museum is a bit pissed off that she didn't get immortality the way she wanted and that he and his men fared a lot better than her. I can't imagine that. I can't imagine how bad her situation is if they fared better than her. He said he doesn't want to even imagine the type of curse that she could put on them that's worse than what they already have. But he assures Lara that she'll at least die easily. Thanks, Lara replies. Now, this Egyptian woman, I don't think we ever meet her. I, I don't believe she's relevant to the game. Again, obviously when we get into the next level, we'll see if this Egyptian woman is relevant or brought up again, but I don't believe so. So I'm assuming this was just added in to kind of explain why the damned didn't go to the museum themselves and get the freaking embalming fluid. So yeah, I think that's all the relevance that that has really is to just stop players going, well, why didn't they go get it themselves a long time ago? They have to send Lara to get it for them. I don't know. So yeah, that's that cutscene. I feel like it's getting really spicy now. Like it's getting really interesting. I don't like the London levels, but the London story and cutscenes are like some of the best in the game. Thank you so much for watching this level. I do really hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.